Today on Vent Rod Garage, we're going to take a look at that driver's side floor pan. See what's wrong with it. Take care of it. See what we end up with. You're going to enjoy this one. Come along for the ride. So here we are back in the car. I'm uh, gonna get this other front floor done. You know, I've got the pan. Ta-da, right here. So I'm gonna get in here and uh, we gotta remove this uh, little uh, seal cover, rocker cover uh, that I made. Gotta get this out of here. Gotta get this bolt back out for the bushings that have been put in. And we're gonna start cutting and fabbing. This floor right here, it's got plenty of holes in it. We'll get it out of the way, get this new one put in. And like that other side, it's, uh, it's a mess. So some of this old stuff pulled out of here, rip that out. <laughs> Yeah, this is a seat bracket, just old seat bracket. I'm just going to get it out of the way for the time being. So the first thing I'm going to do when I come in here is uh, just grind an area, get some of this rust taken off. And then I have a marker. I had a marker. I'll put it somewhere. I'll find it again. Um, sketch out a line of care, kind of where I'm going to uh, cut initially. Because uh, there are some things in here that you want to miss you know, bracing and whatnot. So we'll just get started with that. So got done sanding it, at least in a, kind of an area design that I want to do and uh, sketched it out with soapstone. Now it's just time to get after it. Yeah, something to do before I get going too far. Let me look under there and make sure I'm not going to cut any lines or wires or cables or anything. Hmm. All right, there's a uh, emergency brake line cable. You know, probably don't need it. And there we have it. What I need to do, I need to go in here and find spot welds on this brace, drill them out. I don't know that I want to go all the way into that lip area like I did over there, but I may end up having to. All right, well, I gotta do some cleanup, figure out where these spot welds are. That's next. Emergency cable's already got a wire broke, just one, one strand, one strand. That's okay.
So, as you can see, they're real easy to find once you grind on them. Yeah, no, uh, yep. <clears throat> That's just not gonna work. Great. So what I'm probably gonna do here, uh, I am gonna drill out the ones that I can see. I'm gonna come in, cut around that brace, and uh, just start peeling it back, working it, finding the, the new spots, and then drill those out until we get this thing more or less removed. So, yeah, sounds like a plan. Now again, they do make a uh, particular spot weld drill bit for this. Um, I have a normal drill bit, but it has kind of the same dimensions where it has a point and then it's flat, which is really all you need to take care of these spot welds. Got my profile cut. As you can see, some of these have already popped where I had drilled. So, yep, just gonna continue with that, see if I can find the other ones in here and work it as far as I can. We'll cut that out and just start cutting out the pieces as I go. Yeehaw! Uh, I don't know. Alright, so this becomes the tricky part, getting just all the little fine details on this seam part. I don't think I'm going to take this seam apart like I did over there. I have a different plan of attack for this. Might work better, might not work better. Don't know, but that's gap too much, so um, 
I'm going to do it differently. See if uh, at least get some coverage with it, you know. But getting all of this small stuff apart here. Yeah. <clears throat> Days continued and I'm back. So <clears throat> before I went and had dinner, I put that pan down in here. Um, I've got that lip bent up <clears throat> and set it down. Yep, we'll form that a little bit more as I get it in here. Uh, but I put the pan back in here. I don't know, can you see that bent up? All that right there. Yeah, nice and not straight. It's okay. So <clears throat> I put it back in here and I traced. My pan out. Now I'm going to come back in and cut just below that line because I know it, it, it sinks a little bit when I put it in. That should get me proper clearance. And then I'll have to come in also and tap this down. Give me some clearance there. And we'll get it all cleaned up, drop her in, weld her up. Well, I mean, all it is now is time to clean up the welds and not the welds. Well, I mean, all the old welds, grind up all the paint, start squeezing this thing in. Mm hmm. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a little bit tacked in tonight. Not going to be able to finish tonight. Probably tomorrow. It's getting late. But I want to get this thing kind of set in a place that I'm happy with it. And I'm flush right here. So this is going to be my starting point. And then I mean, sitting up against the rail all the way. So not much adjusting, but this will give me an anchor spot. That's what I'm wanting. So here we are back day two next day of getting this floor panel welded back in so I'm just gonna crank everything up get to work you know fellas just about to wrap it up i think it's been a good day it's been a good day so got this floorboard welded in ground down a few small details to take care of. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Can't you tell? No, all playing aside though, I really am. So here we are in here taking care of, you know, 
there's still some weld showing and whatnot. Again, not a show car. Driver. This is this is repair driver quality work. It's all I'm going for here. You know, and I, I really am happy with uh, with this lip coming up like this, having worked it up this direction. Sealed up a lot better. Little sim seal across there. That's going to be fabulous. As you can see over here on the other side, there's a gap. So that'll seam seal. This passenger side is what it is. This I'm happy with. This will work. So that makes both sides done. And with both sides being done, it's going to be time to figure out what to move on to next. So I still have to touch up in here. I got a vacuum clean up. You know, put some primer down on it so that it, it, it doesn't sit in rust. I mean, we got to put some protection on it. At least that part. It's new. You know, got to do it. I really don't know where I'm going to go from here. I've got a lot of things in mind. It's getting rough. I mean, there, there are things I want to get done to move on to, to other steps. But to do that, I got to get something else done. And I don't think about it. I'm going to stress. I'll be, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. But with tonight's achievement, let's move on to the list. Here we are, back on the list. Next thing on here is work on car. As, you know, as they all are, that's okay. But let's write on here, this was, uh, this was driver, floor. All right, that's another check mark off. <clears throat> And with that, you know, it's great. You know, I really appreciate, really do, y'all sticking in with me, just watching a guy in his project uh, fumble around, make mistakes, make more mistakes, but come up with an outcome that works for what we're doing. It's really difficult to do, but it's a fun process. You know, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking around. It's Kevin, Bent Rod Garage. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, thumbs up, share it out to your friends, write a comment down below. What's your favorite part? What are you enjoying watching? What would you like to see different? What are you working on? I don't There's a gamut of things you could I, I don't know. Ask a fellow what it is. I'll try to respond as best I can and uh, fit it in, make it work. I don't know. Tell you what, comment. I'll shout you out. How about that? You know, I do read your comments. I try to reply to everyone. I appreciate it again. Kevin, Ben Rod Garage. Y'all have a pleasant evening. Be safe out there.